Creative minds need creative outlets. That's why the Art Institute of Colorado is known for high standards in academics that lead to media, design, fashion, and culinary careers. Joining us with an inside look is Jenna Noor, Director of Admissions. Also with us is Dossie Loonberg, Senior Fashion Design student, thus some of these beauties we have right here. But first, I actually want to start with you, Jenna. Tell us why it's such a unique place to study. Well, something that people may not know about the Art Institute is that we're a private nonprofit school that offers commercial art and design degrees. And we just do it in a different way, more exciting. Um, we're located right downtown, about two blocks away from the Art Museum, so that's perfect for our creative students. And in addition to earning a degree and a diploma, our students will actually have a final portfolio when they graduate from the Art Institute, which is so much more powerful than just having a degree on your resume. It actually shows you what you can do. Like for example, Dossie's work here is in her final portfolio as well. And I can't wait to get to this, by the way, Dossie. Now, first of all, Denver Fashion Week started actually yesterday, right? Yeah. And that goes through March 25th. So what has the Art Institute, how is it involved with all of that? So we have students behind the scenes at all of the fashion shows. Um, they're really just immersed in the experience. And it's just an example of plenty of things that our students are doing out in the community to help the Denver community and then also to gain experience for themselves as well. Well, that's exciting, I yeah. know, for having an event something like that. Now, Dossie, let's talk about you. How did you get involved or get inspired to do fashion? You know, when I was a little kid, I always loved working with my hands, but I also never really liked the clothes that my mothers would buy me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, thanks, um, but no thanks. Yes, so I would end up cutting them in weird areas, and she would get really, really angry. Um, but I was like, if I can't wear it, then what's the point of having it? Right. Um, I also loved drawing and painting. So when I was in high school, one of my art teacher we saw that um, I would put so much detail into the clothing and so she suggested I study fashion design and I said well what is fashion design? Yeah, what is it? <laughs> um, and um, she told me about the Art Institute so then I came there and it's been the best thing ever. Well obviously because look at this you've got to tell us exactly what you, we have here because it's so in fact I almost touched it but then stopped because I didn't want to <laughs> ruin anything. So here you have three looks that are inspired by the goddess Oshun. Um, she's the goddess of love, sensuality, um, usually from the west part of Africa. Um, and here you have goddess Akwashun and um, this little piece right here. Um, her name is Oshe. And I used a lot of African wax fabrics. Mm -hmm. She's the goddess, and so that's why you see a lot of volumes. Um, she also rules the wa the rivers and the waters, so that's why you see a lot of blues. Oh, you and, can like, see that, yeah. Yes, and here you can see like the reflection of the water of the sun on the water. So um, you can see these looks on a red carpet. So. If she's a goddess, she really doesn't have to move much. Right. <laughs> oh, they're so beautiful. The fabrics are so nice. And can I can I also say shamelessly, you what you are wearing right now, you actually yes. designed as well. I designed it last night. Look at yeah. that. Last night. Last oh my night. gosh. I wish I had that kind of talent. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jenna, what other programs do you have? I mean, it's hard to actually get our minds off these beautiful outfits yeah. right now. But what other programs do you well, have? Well, if you think about an event like Fashion Week, all different types of creative programs go into that type of an event. Like what is a fashion show without photography or video? And those are programs that we have here as well. Um, have you ever been to an event where the audio is just terrible? Yes. It's very distracting. Well, you can't hear anything, and what's the yeah. point, right? So audio is another program that we have. Of course, we have culinary as well, and even as far down the line as like video game design for those gamers out there. Oh, don't tell my sons that. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Well, for, uh, let's also talk about some upcoming um, public events that you might be taking part in, right? Yeah. So we talked about the graduate portfolio. And so we have an event coming up this Friday that's open to the public that our graduate graduating seniors will be showing their final portfolios. So it's at the school from 10 to 1 this Friday. It's a great way for you to come in and see the school and get a glimpse into your future, um, what it would look like when you're graduating from our school. So if you're thinking about maybe going into something creative, what a better event to come to than oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Which, Dossie, that makes me wonder, what do you want to do? What, where are you going to go from here? I can only imagine seeing you in Vogue or something like that. <laughs> no, I wish. That's one of my dreams. 
I would love to work for Balmain. Um, I love his work. I would love to be in Paris. I do speak French, so that will probably be easy. But as far as my designs, I would, I would really like to put it online. I've been getting a lot of um, people that are wanting to buy it. So I'm thinking about starting an online business where it's going to be easier for those people who are wanting to buy it. You design all of this, you've got such a talent, and you speak French. That's just, you were dealt some special cards, girls, some special <laughs> cards, I will say. So when we talk about all of this and you show people this, do you get a certain amount of excitement actually finally coming out of the classroom and saying, oh my gosh, this is what I've accomplished? Yes. Um, I mean, to think that I didn't know how to sew before I went to the Art Institute, it's just mind-blowing. And it's been, it's been four years, and now I can make things. And, um, so pretty. Yes. Thank you, ladies, so much Thank for being you. with us. Explore all creative degrees at the Art Institute of Colorado. Learn more at an upcoming portfolio show this Friday, March 23rd at 1200 Lincoln Street in Denver from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can also see if a program sparks your interest online at artinstitute.edu slash Denver. Art Institute of Colorado paid for today's segment. Now we also want to thank Renewal by Anderson and Five Wellbeing Spa for today's paid segments. Tomorrow on the show, new vacation destinations after you're free from your timeshare contract. There's a team actually ready to help you. We hope to meet you back here again tomorrow morning, same time, same place, live at 1130. Furniture provided by Colorado Casual Furniture.